Hello, welcome to today's video. We are on pages 52 and 53 of My First Piano Adventure, Lesson Book A. We are being introduced to the bass clef and the treble clef. The, ba the left hand uses the bass clef for low sounds. Say bass clef in a low voice. Bass clef. Circle each animal or person that sings in the bass clef. And in order to determine this, remember that the stem on our notes that you can see with these little pictures here indicates if it's for the left hand or the right hand. Stems that are down and to the left are played with the left hand or for bass clef. Stems that are up and to the right are for treble clef. I will give you an example. This abominable snowman here has notes with stems that are down and to the left. So this is one we would circle. Next, we have the treble clef. The right hand uses the treble clef for high sounds. Say treble clef in a high voice. Treble clef! <laughs> Next, circle each animal or person that sings in the treble clef. So remember, if it's up and to the right, as in the stem, please circle that for the treble clef. Here's an example. This Tweety Bird here has stems that are up and to the right. So we know this is for treble clef. So circle that one for treble clef. Okay, next it says here, your teacher will play low or a high sound and quickly place right hand or left hand on the correct clef. So, if I play high sounds, point to the treble clef. If I play low sounds, point to the bass clef. Here we go. pointed to the treble clef, you're right. Next, is this bass clef or treble clef? If you pointed to the bass clef, you are right. That was bass clef notes. Awesome. Now, Let's listen to the CD and point to each clef as it is named. That is our song, and that is our review of bass clef and treble clef. So this is something we will be learning and working with for the remainder of our time with your studies. So good luck, and we will see you at next lesson.